the finale is upon us. The first one I think we got through this season. For the seasonal shows I'm watching. Which is weird because I don't think this was the first one we started it. So I don't know how that happened. But here we are. Despite my complaints and issues with the episode last week. We're going to go into this positive. You know, we're going to expect great things. We're going to expect Kudo not to die. Actually, we're going to guarantee he's not going to die. Because one main character thing. And two, there's a season two I saw got confirmed. <laughs> there's no way we go we go away with him. He's, he's part of the whole damn title of the show, for being honest. But I'm more so excited just to see, I guess, where they take things regarding him and Mio. I'm assuming they'll implement some stuff with Arta and the, the Usuba family and whatever they got going on there. And... I don't even know where they would plan to take that, so I'm not even going to guess because I'm probably going to get it wrong, and if I do get it right, I'd be very upset. So, like, we're just going to hope it goes in a complete different direction in a way that I don't want it to really be. Anyways, yeah, we got all that. Uh, hopefully things end on a positive note and not a cliffhanger note leading you into wanting to see what's more and what's to come. Uh, if you're interested at all, at the end of this discussion, I'm going to be giving a overall thoughts on the, the series and the season as a whole, and I'll give it a rating and a whole bunch of that other stuff, the, the good things that, you know, I always dread doing, and then <laughs> we'll get, we'll get moving onwards. And if you also have any other shows that are starting to air next season that you would like to see me give a shot now that this one will be concluded. Feel free to leave them down below. If you like it all, hit the like and subscribe. Do me a lot to me. Feel free to stick around for the discussion. Leave any comments about this episode or series. Let's get going though with episode 12. Is this him in his dream state? 100%. He's fighting his inner demons. That's what this is. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. Everything he does. <laughs> Light in the darkness. No OP. Interesting. Oh, oh, that's right. We gotta do this. I was wondering why she was just laying there. Oh, Buddy's here too. So when your souls connect, you're... That's actually dope. Mm, I know you can too. <laughs> oh. Together. Together. The bond between you will be even closer. This is good too, because it's a role that she well aware or she's well aware that only she can play and only she can do. It'll help apply some confidence to her, I'm assuming if all things go successful. Holy fuck. Going to the void. I wonder if this is like a uh So why did she go there, though? I would assume he would have a place that he would be and we'd have to find them. <laughs> See, this is more along the lines of what I wanted them to start showcasing with a battle last week. I have to get back to Mio. Oh. She's the voice in the sky. <laughs> she echoes. So you speak while you're in separate places like this, but you can still connect or hear each other. Or at least you can hear her. Is it Kaya or is it her younger self? It's probably her younger self. The full CG POV. Do we have to duel with ourselves? <laughs> mm. Drag her in. Into the horror. I love the music building up here. And we enter the reddish tint. Mm. Is this the room where it happened? Yeah. Yeah. We find the other version. So we're just reliving almost, or re-seeing all these moments. Or versions. As they both fight their own battles.
So clean, bro. He uses the tree to balance himself. <laughs> Hmm. You have to, I like it. Don't lose the faith. Mm -hmm. I got things to do. Mm. It's a great showcase of how different she is. You deserve to be alone forever. Things that you don't deserve. Oh. I bring nothing but pain and misfortune to those around me. So I will isolate myself. Mm. But then... Mm. <laughs> you think you're fucking special now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because you've been pulled. And you've, you've seen it. Of course it is, though. Of course it is. Mm -hmm. That's why if you're alone, you have nothing to live up to. You have nothing, you know, nobody's expecting things out of you. You don't even expect things out of yourself. So it's a lot easier at that point. Mm -hmm. And that attempt is a lot harder than just staying how you were. Mm. Despite when I don't believe in myself or when I see flaws and things in myself, yeah, he's always here. Mm -hmm. But just that feeling of knowing that there's somebody out there who does believe can bring enough courage and strength to you. Mm -hmm. Just reject everything that she says. Mm. Mm. Strong declaration as the version of herself who cages herself in. Wow. I also have to say, I really like the highlights that they're doing on the hair. Mm. He's here, right? Like it's the same place? Or is she gonna... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say they're in like the exact same place, but envisioning different things. That's not the case. <laughs> Holy... Fuck. She'll be your shield. Mm. <laughs> That's the price to pay to be back and reconnected with you. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> we got a lot of people. Can we see Mio go like fucking crazy here? Or just them work together. That could work too. You piece of shit. Not looking good for you. Oh, and now that they're paired up, it makes it fucking even harder. <laughs> what are your capabilities? It's always the old guys who are capable of the most. The worst. Mm, place your trust in me. Also. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. So this is the Emperor's doing, right? Mm. Ew. <laughs> wow, the most OP person in the universe comes. <laughs>
Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Good, bro. Ooh. With the tree behind us. We transform to ourselves. It's a team effort, man. <laughs> Don't you lose this. She is nothing but honored to be tying this for you. You did. I, I remember. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think it was unreasonable in the slightest, but I respect that you are grown enough to be able to take this stance and still apologize to try and put it behind you and move through it. Mm. Now, as she openly states her desires... And we flipped the script on that line. Cool. <laughs> In a way, each of them don't feel worthy of the other. Mm. That's a lovely way to do it. Mm. There's plenty of people who care for us in our lives. Except Arata, still fuck that game. <laughs> this is straight fantasy, dude. <laughs> this is... <laughs> That's <is> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, get the fuck out of here. You're gonna thank him for bringing you? Thought I wasn't allowed to be alone. Yeah. ね、にはお呼びませんよ。俺は自分の死体用にしただけです。ですが、やっぱりどんなことで謝らないでください。あなたは俺たちの家族ですから。鶴木新と。ファキ。エヴィチュージスセンド。ウェルウェグレイ。
as both of you think you're not worthy of the person that you're with. Mm. Let's go off into the sunset. But I guess we're inside, so not really. <laughs> that would be such an excellent way just to cap it all off. And then not do more. Like, that actually would be, like, a great place to kind of leave you. Uh, I mean, typically when they try and leave you off on, like, a, a cliffhanger or, like, a good ending or something. Uh, and they end the series almost. Not end the entire series, but end it in the anime form. And then force you to kind of go and read the novels or manga or whatever you need to afterwards. Typically, this would be, like really really good and it wouldn't leave me being like oh fuck like i need to uh like know what happens now because they leave you on like a cliffhanger or anything like they leave you on like a good positive note but it's a good ending for you to leave it on right uh so it's a little weird that they're just like no we got you with another season i don't know why i say it's weird i think it's just weird because it's a it's a genre that typically doesn't get multiple seasons and I've been wrong multiple times now this year <laughs> where I've said that about something and then it's come out that they're getting another one uh which I think is just kind of kind of funny that that keeps happening to me so maybe my understandings of like what makes them want to go out of their way and, and produce more seasons is off I don't know <laughs> we're, we're growing though and we're learning right as I said too great way I think for them to cap it off uh after having my issues and my dislikings entirely of 90% of the episode last week. Uh, this is a great way to kind of turn it around and really flip things on its head and, and make it great. Uh, it's pretty simplistic. I, I would argue with what they're trying to obtain or trying to uh, showcase to you, which I, I think is okay though. I think that's, that's perfect for what it needs to be because I've talked about all along how the solutions you would assume uh, looking at it from the outside in, uh, to the problems with Mio or with uh, Kudo, like in their relationship and things together, a lot of it is pretty straightforward. Uh, and it's just a disconnect because each of them are inexperienced with things. And then also people like Mio having to deal with trauma and all this other stuff, you know, in her life uh, to the point that they struggle to either speak their mind or properly convey the things that they want to, to somebody else and don't know the proper ways to go about things. And they're still trying to figure it out and work together uh, in that way. But the problem was they weren't really working together in a great way either because they weren't on that same page and weren't really connecting, uh, which ultimately has led to all the issues and things that have kind of happened up to this point. So it, it actually makes a lot of sense that we get something that's pretty straightforward along the way. Uh, Mio really recognizing and realizing that she has overcome a lot of these things or uh, overcome what her past self would once think or feel or anything along those lines as she's trying to strive to be greater and, and you know progress herself and her feelings towards, I guess, her life and how she should kind of be living it uh, and her just outlook on things, which I think is a excellent way. That's what the entire sequence of uh, her in those rooms with like her other selves is kind of showcasing, I guess, for us. Uh, and Kudo also just kind of coming to that realization. Well, he's always realized it, but still having that realization that this is the person that he's trying to be with and he's trying to protect and uh, he wants to be with them. And he's kind of going out of his way or doing things in the wrong way that has caused this rift or this disconnect uh, between them. And then he puts a lot of the blame and, you know, other things along those lines of uh, what has happened to Mio all these multiple times. Now he puts a lot of it on himself while she puts a lot of the blame on herself and it causes a big... Uh, big rift between them in a way, even though it's not big and it's not a, a problem, but each of them are so like inexperienced with this stuff that they get so down on themselves when they have like a little, a little argument or a little like a uh, disagreement on something or just aren't on the same page. And they just kind of are those types of people though, who do shoulder like all the, the blame for everything that happens uh, onto themselves. And they don't try and push it off onto other people. And they more so think of like, not this person should have handled this different and did this. They always think I could have done this better or I could have did this different, uh, which is an interesting outlook and route for them to be as people, I guess. Uh, and it, it works so well, though, because as I said, I think at the end, neither feels that they're worthy of being with the other person, which is like the perfect dynamic, I'd say, uh, for the relationship. 
it's because each person feels that this other person is out of their league in a way and they're trying to strive to be greater uh and improve themselves so that they can catch up to this person that they they admire and look up to so much but neither person views themselves in the same way that the other person is able to uh, which is really cool because it allows both of them to constantly have things that they're trying to improve and, and make themselves more worthy of being with this person that they're with and neither of them actually just realize, I guess, how great of people that they actually are, how much they really mean to that other person that they're with uh, and for what those reasons are. And I think that's why it works so well or it's going to continue to work so well with them. And the dynamic kind of makes you want to root for them and cheer for them, too, because as the viewer, you get to witness and see the greatness between or about each of these characters and the things that you love so much, especially uh, so where each of them can't step outside themselves and actually view themselves for the things that they're so loved by other people for right as a viewer you have the the luxury of sitting outside of them and understanding what's so lovable about each of them and what you like so much uh that you just kind of want each of them to see that within each other which they do but they don't see that within themselves uh so you push and, and hope more and more for that which i think is really really excellent and i love that being in roughly the same setting for the majority of this is pretty cool i i really like the the state that we go into when she's using her ability here uh, this fucking like this is that is crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Just a lot of the the location and everything they do, and the way that they're able to use colors and kind of tone and shade different things is really uh, interesting. That I really like. Uh, I love her kind of running around and hearing or seeing the younger version of herself ultimately drags us in once we get into the the darkness here, which is like of the same tint and color and stuff of uh, where he is. And I don't actually know if there's like reason for that. I'm just overlooking and not understanding. I'm, I'm assuming that there definitely is. Uh, and that's why I think later when he loses the the hair tie or whatever it is uh, and she goes to like and she ends up finding it or having it and she's like oh this led me to you I just assume that it was both of them like in this state that they're kind of like boxed in and uh, viewing where each of them are like it's not actually it they're in like a a complete empty space you know like when you see people in like just random uh, I don't even know a good example to give but when they're just like in an empty like white room and there's like absolutely nothing there you're just like an empty space basically I, I figure that that's where they are and these are more like imaginative things that they're having uh and they're just thinking that he's like fighting these things and thinking that all this stuff's happening and she thinks that she's having like these arguments like they're they're illusions in a way right and they're just kind of boxed in and then the moment that that all shatters and she's able to overcome the things that she was and he's able to defeat the things that he needs to or whatever uh she's able to be led to him because they realize they were both with each other the entire time i thought that we were going to go like a route like that that doesn't appear to be the case while well, they're in the same vicinity i guess at a point uh it's not entirely the thing this is just great i mean i don't know how much i'm really going gonna dive into it it's really just a combination of like everything that has occurred throughout the entirety of this uh of us and all the discussions and things that i've had about mio as a person and about the things that she's kind of gone through and and how she feels about herself and all of this right like that's all comes to to the surface here as she starts talking and having these conversations in a way with an older version essentially of herself now i don't know if this is supposed to be an older version i'm assuming it is if it's not it could e even just be another version outside of herself who just views things in different ways but the version that we are talking to is exactly similar to the version that we were met with at the beginning of the series for the most part uh that suppressed a lot of this stuff or didn't showcase i guess all of it on the surface but it's pretty obvious from from the outside here that she did look at all these things such as talking about how she's a failure and talking about uh how she wants to be alone because it is better that way which is a a valid point and it's a complete true thing that it is easier and that's why she would want to do that because of course she doesn't have expectations of herself uh because nobody else will ever get them right nobody else will ever uh expect these things of her or want things from her so it allows her to not have to expect things of herself uh and it also just allows her to be content with where she's at and understanding that this is my role and i'm just going to stay in my lane type of thing uh so it makes you know perfect sense that of course we're going to bring all this up and tell her this is who you are and this is really what you want uh well that's not the case because we've seen this growth and seen her see the light in a way of having all these people and this actual care from other people coming to her life over time that it doesn't really matter at the end of the day what uh what this version of herself is trying to say because the version that she actually is is changing uh for the better i also love here the the highlights that they do on the hair i noticed it afterwards i guess they actually do it the entire time and i'm not talking about like the circle on the head that i i don't like to begin with um i'm talking about just the like the pink highlights or whatever that we're getting on her and i think the other version of herself 
Now that one has the same color as well. Uh, she also has, they do like these same couple strands of hair and they do them like brown, I noticed, instead of black. Uh, I think it's like a brown and I looked at that afterwards just to just to see but they do that so then when you're in this room and you get a different lighting and coloring onto it it really pops instead because it's like a pink or whatever that comes out which I think is really really cool uh, this is really cool too of this version trying to like fight her off she can't cause harm because of course this other version of yourself can't actually go out of her way and you know, attack you uh <laughs> right like she just won't but she cages herself in because she's trying to of course not get hurt herself uh and she's lying to herself with a lot of these things but she's trying to isolate herself from being involved in anything else and having to deal with any of this so i love this other version of her coming in and breaking her her old self in a way out of the shell and opening her up to this this new world and stuff that can come we have this other version of herself which is great as well i guess comes in we end up finding kudo we save him great moments and conversations all along with that uh emperor boy over here gets completely blasted and fucked up because uh, he thinks that he's he's great over here this is really just gross when they do this i don't i don't even understand that also i didn't talk about it here but during the episode i did kudos is just so cool everything that he does all his abilities and stuff absolutely love them i think they're, they're so cool but i really really like them uh this is a great moment between the two uh, and i absolutely love everything that kind of comes along with this and both of them once again not feel like they're equal on it or they're not on the same page with each other both of them still want to apologize for things even though maybe in my mind kudo didn't really do anything wrong in the situation but of course he's going to apologize because he feels like there's better things or things that he could have did different which is a strange but more weirdly approach um or mature way for him to kind of go about it everybody comes back to life well things are all good it's fantastic the art a moment once again i don't get it at all his his just him i don't get it I, I just think i need more context and understanding there that just wasn't presented last time it just still isn't here now he he keeps lying or making up reasons like i can't let you go and then he let her go uh but he's like i have to go with you that's the only way because i have to keep a watch of you and always be with you and then he's with her while we're here and then he leaves and he's like okay you can be alone now it's like the fuck is going on with you bro and then he's like we're family by the way so like i'm always gonna see you or i'm always gonna be with you in a way and it's like the fuck are you talking about <laughs> so i'm not i'm not here for it uh a prince over here being uh talking about having the the sins for opening the graves and doing all that stuff for the emperor is pretty funny and interesting i guess uh, i don't i mean i don't know how he's gonna face that or what's gonna happen because we didn't see the outcome i'm assuming the emperor just got like completely fucked up but by him saying that makes me think he didn't die or anything so i have no idea we get our home life and i love this like the last set of lines basically here of mio of realizing that her real happiness and the things that she kind of has always wanted in a way come from some simplistic things for the most part of just being around with somebody like kudo and just having simple daily conversations and enjoying yourself finding joy in the simplest forms right I love this, just being able to have this moment where Mio gets to put her, her skills on display here uh, and we're able to make like a public appearance for the most part with uh, everybody else, which is great. And we get a proper like word of mouth proposal here, uh, which is, is fantastic and get to see them kind of walking off together while they both still feel that they're not you know, worthy of the other, but it's okay. And we're going to work towards this and be together, which I think is a, a great way to end it. Sorry if you wanted me to go a little bit more in depth or anything about the episode. Typically, for the most part, like weirdly enough, like with a lot of the finales of seasons, I'm kind of just like over talking about what happens in the episode and i just kind of want to get get everything out there about like feelings towards the episode so i kind of don't go as much into it or, or really focus on certain things i don't know it's weird i've noticed that with uh, a lot of them that i do the actual like episode discussion will only be a couple minutes uh strange i don't know regarding the series as a whole uh once again this is not a review or not a like proper analysis of it it's more of just some thoughts and comments i have about it about things i liked or things i didn't like and how i felt at certain moments that's really all it is there's a lot here that i really really liked i think the start of the series for the first half was incredibly strong and i absolutely loved it i think it got fairly weak and continued to kind of go downhill uh, for me personally uh through the end but i think the end was a, a nice little highlight uh, so i was okay with that uh, i love the characters for the most part uh, a lot of the side ones like are pretty useless and so not have any relevance i guess well they have relevance in it but they're not 
they didn't make like lasting impacts on me. They're just like typical. Oh, this guy's evil. So I don't like him because it makes sense. Cause he's doing things that I wouldn't like that are harming the characters that I do like. Right. So a lot of it is pretty straightforward with that. Oh, Kaya's being a bitch towards the character. I do like, so of course I'm not going to like her. Oh, art is being weird or, Oh, the grandpa's being weird. Or, oh, the emperor is right. Like it all kind of adds up in a way. Uh, I love Mio. I think her character is fantastic. I love the growth that we were able to get out of her. It's very hard to grow a character uh, and do it effectively that you actually buy and believe the things that they're they're feeling and they're saying uh, and making like these declarations and stuff that she has by the end uh, and do it in 12 episodes is very hard to do. That's something that typically you need longer series to be able to to get through or you need like incredibly traumatic things like killing people and stuff to kind of do that uh so the fact that we didn't have to go to those extremes and still allow her to like really see the light in a way was really great uh and i love the way that they kind of progressed her my boy kudo is fantastic i love him a lot i, I don't know usually like i have this weird thing where i just like i like characters but typically a lot of male characters for me i just don't find myself like loving i don't know what it is like a lot of them i just feel have very similar like values and things or how i view them at least uh to other ones so i don't like them a lot but something about him was just fucking cool to me <laughs> like i like the way he handled everything i like the way that he handled himself uh every time he had to showcase his abilities or do something it was so cool to me uh, i don't know i love the dude i think it's great um the sister i'm blanking on her name right now sorry i think she's great uh and i was i thought she was a great addition to the the side cast or just the cast in a way and she's somebody who's a bit more experienced uh with a lot of the stuff that when either kudo or mio are being stupid with something she's able to like kind of put them in their place and be like what are you talking about <laughs> which i think is great i loved her yuri's a great she's fantastic we love her i think the animation for the most part was really well done i think some of the like the backgrounds and stuff uh, at moments within the series were a little dull or didn't really come to life in the way that i I guess I wish they did, but I think some of the, a lot of the moments for the most part, especially like this one, or a lot of the moments when we were doing, um, certain things regarding like supernatural things, or we were doing like these dream states or just whatever it is, uh, we're really coming to life in certain moments. Like when they had, when color was involved and they really could make things like pop and they were trying to make things like a, a special moment, you definitely could feel like the, the passion and love coming off onto the screen. But then some of the other moments that I guess weren't as important or as uh, much of a priority, I guess, for the people working on this, they didn't have to focus on that as much. So there's not like a real complaint there, but it's just something I, I point out. The, the animation was shockingly really well done, I would say for the most part, like a lot of the fighting and stuff was done very interesting too. Uh, and I have no complaints there. I have praises for the most part there. This being the first thing I've seen from the studio as far as i'm concerned too is a very big highlight and something i'm i'm actually very impressed uh, with a lot of the stuff that i kind of saw from them so very much interested to see i guess how they continue to do this and maybe watching other things at some point uh from them for someone who typically doesn't like historical fantasy type of things this one shockingly was like very quality to me uh which is i don't know something about it maybe it's because we didn't have to dive too much into I guess like historic traditions and things uh about it it was just more so the environment that we were in and the way that they went about life with like the relationships and stuff and then we were able to make the, the fantasy elements of it be cool because some of the supernatural stuff was was interesting for what it was well that stuff i would argue was the weakest part of the series or the least uh interesting to me i guess a lot of times when they were bringing things up around it that's why i think like the second half was a lot weaker for me uh because we got a decent bit more focus about stuff regarding that uh and i think that stuff isn't as interesting to me just is like the dynamic between our main characters i think it's really cool when you use it in moments like the way kudo fought this episode or when we went to the saimori house and what was going on there i think that's excellent stuff uh the way that they can kind of approach that and animate like things going along with that um but outside of that, a lot of it was like, uh, I don't know. It, for me, it just didn't didn't work as well. I do like how a lot of the stuff with the romance was handled here. Uh, we didn't need to progress or push things to a point that we were like expecting or um, 
kind of just like un- it was being annoying in a way of us being like, all right, are they going to ever like confess to each other? Or, oh, you know, one of these moments are going to happen where they're going to have to like touch each other in some sort of way or make some contact. And then one of them is going to like react, like overreact in a way. Right. Like it was more it's more mature because probably the ages of the character. Well, the characters are more high school ages, so I guess it could be in regards to the setting in a way. Uh, but I do like the how we kind of just breezed over that stuff uh and we did certain things that allowed such as like um coming closer to a person and having some sort of physical uh connection or touch to that person uh become more of a norm and become something that they were comfortable with pretty early on uh and a lot of these things allowed it to like progress pretty well because of that because we don't have those like obstacles that are just more of an annoyance to the viewer uh in the way and don't really add to making things more enjoyable or cute uh which kind of bothers me a lot with a lot of things i watch with romance stuff so i i'm happy that that is the case that we kind of just skip over a lot of that stuff and we focus on the stuff that's more important and i think the aspect of that is pretty excellent uh and i think they they do that really well and they make those moments come off really well like something as simple as being like oh i want to give this person a gift like right like a a radiates so much more like positivity and so much more of this this connection that i get and wanting to see these two characters together than like anything else that you get out of like something so simple with a a romance show which is really good uh and i think being able to make things so subtle but make things so interesting in that that regard is pretty pretty excellent can't really think of much more i want to say i don't write any of this stuff down so everything's just like off the head but about like feelings and stuff i have towards the series um overall like i said uh before if i have to rate it i'd probably give it like high seven i i was loving it a ton at the beginning of the series uh, and it probably would have been much higher, but I, I'd have to, I don't remember specifics and episodes and stuff, but like I said before, after the whole Saimori stuff went down, everything after that just started feeling like we were taking a step down until we had like a spiral out of control of like something I did not enjoy at all, which was episode 11. Uh, and we bring it back nicely here, but it is something that I think is good and it's it's borderline like really good it's just missing like it just missed the mark because of the second half of it being a lot weaker in my opinion uh overall still really enjoyed it a ton and that could change entirely like i could look back on this in a couple couple weeks or months and i could be like you know what i actually like that way more than i was giving it credit to at the time and maybe it's a sour taste left in my mouth after you know the highlights of the season coming earlier for me than what ended up occurring later which happens uh i would say sometimes for series usually they progress and get way better in my opinion but this one went down a little bit the way that we wrapped up that arc leaves me to believe whatever is going to happen in season two we have like a fresh hope of uh what's to come next now that our characters are reconnected and all that which is something i i'm very excited for actually uh that happens sometimes too in i guess a show to kind of relate it to is uh to your eternity i loved the first like what is it 13 or 14 episodes something like that and then we go into like an arc that ended the first season which i thought was absolutely awful and it kind of just left like a bad taste in my mouth for the entirety of the season uh so i would compare it to like something similar in that way where intro and like the first arc that we really had to go through was very good but then when we get into like our second section it wasn't as good to me i don't know that's just how i'm feeling on that if you disagree and just feel different for anyways or maybe you feel the same whatever just let me know uh down below it's gonna be all for me though i really appreciate everybody who joined for these uh this is another series that actually did really well on the channel which i'm starting to to get that feeling of like certain series that do well like with an audience that i can kind of uh gravitate towards in a way or gravitate towards me uh which is interesting to note based on like the past couple things that i've done each season that i've done particularly well uh so i'll try and keep that in mind when picking certain things that i decide to watch uh, throughout each of the seasons i've done pretty well so far and i think this is another one that did pretty decent uh towards the back end it definitely dipped a bit but i think that also could just be people were having similar feelings towards uh the series as i was and they weren't as interested in certain episodes so that's why they weren't clicking i could be wrong just some things i was thinking about uh so once again thank you though for support comments uh everything for anybody who who ventured in here and joined me for these i appreciate that uh give me overall thoughts about the the series this episode too what you liked and stuff but overall about the series how you're feeling 
Are you excited for the second season? Did you read the source material at any point throughout the season and you said, screw it, or are you going to go read it now instead and you can't hold off and wait for another season? Let me know. Uh, I'll probably be here if I'm still doing this. I, I don't know where life's going to take me by the time we get to another another season, but by the time it comes out, I'll probably still be doing this, I, or at least I would hope I would be, uh, and hopefully I can be here for that. Uh, I don't ever have time in my life, or I don't make the time at least to sit down and read stuff usually, so I likely am not going end up reading this so we'll be back uh for another season if i'm still around uh thank you very much once again if you enjoyed it. if you liked it all hit the like and subscribe to me a lot to me feel free to check out the other videos on the channel leave any comments with this episode or series as well as recommend other things that you would like to see me watch come in the fall or just at some other point uh for a possible poll that will be placed to replace some of the other shows that we're watching right now that are older you guys have a good one though see ya